Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Grand Hyatt Irawan here in Bangkok. Uh, we are booked in here, checked in, and we are ready to go. I'm gonna give you a tour of the hotel property. It's in a fabulous location, by the ways. And I'm also gonna bring you back then once we've seen the hotel property, come back here and check out the room. I'll give you a tour of this room and tell you all about it, what we booked and all that kind of good stuff. And then obviously at the end, I will be sharing with you a my scorecard and let you know what I think about this property. So let's check out the gym here. the spa and the nail salon now we're going to check out i think the pool oh it's out here oh, it is. This is the main dining room here, and if you have breakfast, uh, if you have Globalist, you can have breakfast here or in the lounge. I think in the morning I'm gonna try it here. He said it's not too busy around eight, which is when I'm gonna come down to breakfast, so this looks really nice, nice setup.
All right, you've seen everything they have to offer. Now let's go take a look at the room. All right, so you've seen this gorgeous property. Now I'm going to show you the room and we're gonna start in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't ever really start in the bathroom, but here we are. Uh, so let's check this out. We've got a shower right here. It's a pretty good size shower. It's not huge, but there's plenty of room in there. And they have a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So those are check, check, check for me. Um, and then here's the commode. So it's a pretty good size commode. It's not a washlet, but they do have the bidet, the little bum gun that you can use. And then this is a really nice sink countertop. There's only one sink here, uh, but it is really quite nice. You've got everything here. You've got a hair dryer. Look at the fancy cover for the extra roll of toilet paper. And then of course, all of your extras here, shaving cream, razors, all that kind of stuff. If you need some extras, uh, they've got this nice Balmain lotion. And I think this is a really nice touch. I've not seen this before. Across Asia, you usually get the glass bottles of bottled water because you can't drink the tap water in most places but these are nice little covers for them. So you don't feel like you're gonna break them on these countertops. So I like that quite a bit. Look at this tub. If you know me, you've seen the channel, you know I love a good bathtub. You're thinking to yourself, you really wanna put yourself on display while you're taking a bath out here to the room? I'll show you the solution to that in just a moment. But I think this is the perfect alley size tub. And they do include bath salts, so I will be taking a bath in there tonight. So this is pretty good. It's not a huge bathroom, but it's enough room. Also, the door is right here, and there's a big mirror right behind it. So we'll go into the hallway, which is kind of dark, but you've got these baskets here to store stuff. And then here's your actual closet. Ironing board, iron, and there's an extra robe in here. Ooh, these are soft. I was expecting them to be hard, but these are actually quite soft. And slippers. And then you've got a luggage rack here, which this is a staycation for us, so just a quickie bag. And then a little tea set here. Look at how pretty that is with the teapot. And then we've got some extra water in here, four more bottles in here. And this is mini bar stuff here, but you've got your glasses and mugs and things like that for coffee later. Plus down here is the rest of the mini bar cold items that you can grab from down here. So that's pretty good. And then you've got a nice Nespresso, yay for Nespresso, kettle, and then all your goodies right in here. These are mini bar items. There's a menu here. And then you've got your tea. This part is complimentary, your teas, creamer, and all that kind of good stuff. And Okay, so we're globalists. We got this nice little dish of fruits. I think we've got, uh, let's see, that's a Thai orange. These, I, and that's ready to eat. I know that it's green, but these, this, the color inside is like the color of this persimmon. And then um, these are Rambutan. They are so delicious. These are probably my favorite food in Thailand. So there you have it. Look at this a nice big TV. It's a Samsung. So that's good. There's nothing in these drawers. So you can put things in there if you need to. You got this nice big bench that you can sit on. They've got this kind of leather cover on there. I'm not really sure about that, but it feels comfortable anyways. <laughs> the bed looks really nice. It looks like it's gonna be comfortable. We'll see, we'll test it out later. But you've got a kind of a nightstand situation over here. It's kind of an interesting one. I've not seen that done before um, where they do the nightstand like this, but you've got like a little radio set here or speaker. And then you've got all of your, your things here. You can control the room. You can set the alarm and all that kind of good stuff. You do have an outlet behind, a universal outlet, USB-C and USB. So that's pretty cool. Drawers here are empty. Let's take a look at the other side. So over here, same thing. You have the little control panel here for controlling everything in the room, the lights, if you want the room made up or if you want privacy, that's a light that's outside your room. And then again, another universal outlet with a USB and USB-C. You're not gonna beat that. And then this room has a um, 
couch in it. There's also a king room without a couch in it. We reserved the uh, standard king room. They did upgrade us because we are globalists. They did also apologize for not being able to get us a suite, which is what they wanted to do, because she said that they were fully booked. But we did book this on short notice, so that probably worked against that. But that's okay, because this is a really nice room. So they did upgrade us to a club level room, which is where we're at. You've got a nice table here with what looks like a comfy chair. Now, if you're gonna be doing some work and you have a mouse, a computer mouse, this is probably not gonna be your friend, so make sure you bring a mouse pad with you. But other than that, you're gonna sit there and eat or read or play some games. This would be the perfect spot. This couch is actually pretty comfortable, honestly. And then you got a nice little view right here of the city. You can actually see their sister property across the way, which is the Intercontinental, or sorry, the Park Hyatt. Intercontinentals on the other side, but that's the Park Hyatt property there. Uh, we've done a review on that one as well, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out here on the channel. But uh, yeah, I really think that this is going to be a good room, and I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what I think about this property. Before I give you my rundown of what I think of this property, I forgot to show you one thing, and that is how are we gonna solve this privacy issue in the bathroom? Not a problem, they gave you a little door right here. All you have to do is close it. Voila, you're gone. You're private in the bathroom, no problem. So I think that's pretty cool, because if you have it open, you got a nice full length mirror, and it is really pretty, because they got the tiles and everything right there. So I think that's a pretty good addition. All right, guys, so let's talk about the Grand Hyatt. Let's crunch the numbers. First thing we need to talk about is the location, and I'm going to give it a 10 for the location because it's in the perfect spot. It's right in the center of the, it's in the hub of everything. You're right by Central World. You're right by Siam Paragon. The BTS is literally right outside the door. You don't even have to go down to the ground level. Just take the walkway across. You're right by uh, another mall right next to it there. So really a ton, a ton of stuff that you can do from right near the hotel. So a 10 for that. And that is actually the only 10 that this hotel is going to receive. So let's go on to the next one. Let's talk about cleanliness. Clean cleanliness is going to be a nine and mostly because it is an older hotel and it just kind of doesn't feel as crisp as some of the other hotels that we've stayed at, um, you know, around the world using this rating system. So I'm gonna give it a nine for that. The next thing is the amenities. And if you recall, this category is out of 20. And I'm, gonna, I'm giving this one a 15. Uh, the pool, as you saw, not very impressive. It feels kind of like you're in a compound of sorts. Yes, there's tons of chairs. There's that little restaurant, but it's kind of in a weird place. Almost feels like it was a little bit of an afterthought. The fact that they put it um, like down in on, I think it was like the sixth floor or something like that. And then it was just kind of outside with those big brick walls around it, those big uh, concrete walls around it just felt really kind of closed off, didn't feel very resorty, very fun, and absolutely zero views whatsoever. Um, so 15 for that. The gym, as you saw, was actually quite nice, um, and the spa was, looked like it was pretty nice too, pretty standard for the most part. Next one is service. I'm going to give them a nine for this. It was pretty good, really, for the most part. Very, very close to a 10 but not quite enough to give it a 10. So it's gonna go with, I went with a nine on this one. The lounge, I'm gonna give it an eight. Uh, the lounge is a little bit older. It's a little bit on the smaller side. Um, they did have an extra room across the hall, but it was, you know, obviously not in the same space as the rest of the lounge. Service in there was really good too. Um, they have a counter out front before you even get in there and they always take care of things for you. So that was pretty good. Service in there was great. Um, they got everything that you needed. They did have a, an incredible breakfast that they offered up there. I chose not to, I showed it to you, but I chose not to eat there. I went downstairs and ate at the restaurant. 
because that one was an even bigger <laughs> offering there. Uh, but then for the afternoon tea, it was a very small offering for that. And then for the dinner um, cocktail hour, they did have quite a bit and a pretty good assortment, I think, uh, between Eastern and Western, and then things like salads and fruits and things like that to have available as well. I think it was a pretty decent selection as far as the, the food is concerned, but it is a little bit older. It had like those little booths, which were okay, but it just felt very, I don't know, like restauranty. Didn't really feel so much like a relaxing lounge atmosphere that you're used to in some of the other hotels that we've been to. Elite recognition, I'm gonna give this one a nine. Um, when we got there, we're globalists uh, with Hyatt, as I've mentioned before, and we got there and they did say, they did recognize it right away when we started the check-in process. And she did apologize because she said, we wanted to give you a sweet upgrade. Unfortunately, we sold all of the, you know, the sweets out, which is fine because obviously someone was paying money for those. I would definitely take it too if I were them. <laughs> but she did, you know, apologize for not being able to offer us one. She, they did give us a room upgrade. Um, but I think, uh, you know, I think a nine is probably is fair. Uh, value, I would give this one a seven. Again, because there are other options in this same vicinity that uh, have a higher ranking as far as I'm concerned, um, I'm gonna give this one a seven as far as value because the cost is almost, is very similar to some of the other uh, comparable places, but this one doesn't give you that like I said, new crisp feel. It is an older property. I know they're doing the best they can with what they have, but they really do need to work on some updates on this one. So seven for the value. Sleep environment was great for the most part. Uh, the bed was really comfortable. The pillows were actually pretty comfortable and you can close everything off. There was no night light um, already set in the room. And the other trouble that I had was getting the temperature to set, to go down to what I actually had it set at. Usually we set it at about 22-ish uh, Celsius and it wouldn't come down from 23. So that just kind of tells me, again, the system is a little bit on the older side and you know hasn't really been updated because any other hotel we've stayed at in that same vicinity, uh, I think one, we even put it down, it was a really hot day in the afternoon. I think we had set it down to like 20 Celsius and it had absolutely no problem getting down to it. So the fact that I couldn't get it to even come down that one degree, I was like, eh, you know, they need to work on that. But other than that, the bed, super comfortable. It was quiet. There wasn't a lot of noise really at all in the hallway. So that was really good. And then finally, the overall experience, I would give this one an eight. Again, it was a pretty good experience overall. Staff was very helpful and lovely. Um, had a great breakfast. I tell you the breakfast though, um, that they offer you down in the restaurant if you have the option between the two if you're globalist and they give you the option to go to the restaurant I would definitely go to the restaurant like I said I showed you what the two looked like it was a huge difference I mean it was probably four times larger in the restaurant than it was in the lounge so I uh, highly recommend that but the food was really good and the experience was pretty good overall so an eight that gives this hotel, the Grand Hyatt here in Bangkok, and a total of 84, uh, which I think is a pretty good, is a pretty good number. Um, I think that's pretty good on the scale of, you know, the other comp pretty fairly comparable. It's a little bit lower than some of the other ones. You know, they missed the mark on a few things, like I said, but uh, I wouldn't completely shy away from it. But if you have a choice, I would look at, at the other videos here on the channel. Um, if you're trying to decide which one to stay at, I have reviews of several of the other hotels right in that same area. So check those out here on the channel. Guys, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments section and hopefully I will see you next time.